Hello everyone. Uh, everyone knows that uh, there is a, such a big majority of traders who trade in options, and uh, we believe uh, there are lots of traders who don't understand the basics of options. Of course, there are lots of avenues to understand the basics, but still people don't uh, ignore the basics and still uh, start trading options. And one of the main thing in options trading is the option chain. I have with me Raghunath, who is the brain behind Opstra, and uh, in fact he created Opstra on his own. And uh, we also have in Opstra the option chain, which is uh, exactly similar to the option chain which you get on the NAC website. But how to look at an option chain? That is a very interesting thing which people must be aware because otherwise you are trading blindly, so to speak. So it is a very necessary thing to understand what is an option chain, what all is shown in an option chain, and how to use those figures which you can see in an option chain. So welcome, Raghunath. So what do you, you have you. to talk about the option chain? So basically, option chain is used to understand what market is trying to do. Yeah. Because uh, let's take the example of Nifty, and here we are looking at uh, 29th March 2023 expiry, and its option chain. Yeah. And there are so many strike prices, and there is different open interest volume, and so many other things. So you get all this information in one place in an option chain. Right. So the importance is that uh, you will be able to understand what is market is trying to do and how the market is changing in real time. So that is the main importance of option chain. So this option chain, this web page is a kind of a dynamic web page, right? So this yes. keeps changing as per the new data which comes from the yes. exchange. So every one minute uh, it keeps updating. Yeah, okay. And uh, the values will change depending on how market is performing. Yeah. And uh, uh, there are different uh, aspects of this option chain, and each column represents different information. Yeah. And I'll also talk about uh, option Greeks as part of option chain also. So here uh, in an option chain, there are two identical parts, one on the left side and one on the right side. The options on the right side of the option chain represents put options. Okay. And the ones on the left side represent call options. Now, the shaded region here that you're seeing in, you know, coffee cream color. Yeah. So the, those are uh, in the money options. In the money, yeah. And the ones which are in white are uh, out of the money options. Okay. And at the many options is represented in this uh, green fluorescent color. So you know exactly where you have to look at right. uh, when you look at this option chain. So if you want uh, to look at an at the many options, you directly come to so the sh uh, yellow is shaded portions on the call side are the out of the money. Uh, yes. on the, sorry, uh, in, in the, the money. money. And on the put side are also in the money in put the options. Money. And yes. the green band is at the money. At the money options, yes. So, as I said, on the right side is a put options and on the left side is call options. Now, let's come to uh, each and individual column. And these columns are on both sides, yeah. but they have different values. Right. Okay. So, let's come from left side to right side. <coughs> so, maybe, maybe from, you know, yeah, left side to, uh, sorry, right side to left side. So, in the middle, what are the strike prices, right. which are the most important information here. Yeah. You want to know what are the strike prices you are looking at. Now, the first column to the left side for the call options is the price change. Not in percentage terms, but Absolute. absolute terms. Yeah. So, so this means that 17,550 call has changed, uh, risen by 45.9 rupees today. Yes, compared to yesterday. Yeah, compared to yesterday. Now then you get this LTP. So when know? I say today, of course today we are talking when the uh, after the market has closed, but let's say we were looking at it at 1 o'clock. Okay. So whatever price uh, premium it would have shown, that would be till 1 o'clock one from yesterday's closing. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. So this is a change over previous day price. Mm -hmm. Now LTP is, you know, last trading price. Uh, yeah, whatever last I trading. traded last. And then IV is the implied volatility. So implied volatility is nothing but uh, the amount of extrinsic premium that is there 
in that particular option. Mm. Okay, so representative of of that extrinsic premium. So the higher the implied volatility, the higher the extrinsic premium, and therefore the costly the option is. So when you say extrinsic premium, you are also uh, hinting at the time value. Which people yes, call, yeah. exactly. So that represents the implied volatility, the extrinsic uh, premium. So basically, uh, the more we go towards uh, in the money, yeah. let's say deep in the money, this IV will decrease. Yes, usually. Uh, but what you will see in general is that as you go far away, like if you go far away out of the money options. Yeah, out of the money it will be increase, much more. Yeah, yes, right, much right. More. So, yeah, so IV is nothing but it tells how much expensive or cheap the options are. Mm. Now, then comes the in the money probability. So, what is in the money probability? It tells you what is the chance of that particular option, uh, of that particular option strike. So, in this case, uh, 70,550 call option. What is the chance that it undergo, it uh, goes in the money? Okay, it expires in the money. So here it, sh it shows that there is 49.2% chance that it goes in the money. Okay. Okay. So as a rule, most of at the money options have probability uh, of in of going in the money is around 50 percent. Okay. But and actually, uh, to be honest, uh, how does this help? Because this is not a prediction. This is as of now, right? Yes, it's as of now. Mm -hmm. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's tomorrow if yes. falls by 200 points, this value will decrease drastically. Yes, exactly. So, this is dynamic uh, information, yeah. it's not a static one. So, it will change with the market. Now, then comes the volume. So, here the volume is in the terms of the number of lots. Okay, so 3750 into 50. Yeah, 3730 into That's 50 yeah. to get the, the total. Okay, so this is volume. number of lots traded. Number of today. lots. Because it's much simpler to look at it. Yeah. Now then, then comes the open interest. So, so I, again, what is volume? Volume is nothing but how many contracts are traded on that particular day till, till that, that particular time. time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is after market. And what is open interest? Open interest is the number of positions, option positions that are open in the market. Okay. The volume is the traded ones and the option, the uh, open interest is the ones which are open in the system of the market. Outstanding, uh, open, Outstanding yeah. open positions. So that is the open interest. Now the finally is the open interest change. That how much the open interest has changed compared to previous day open interest. Mm. So if the open interest has increased, which means that more people have added the positions. Right. If the open interest has reduced, it means people have covered their positions compared to yesterday. So that is the information you get from open interest and open interest change. Now these are the the so main the same same data will be there yes. for the put options. Same thing you can see on the put option side as well. Okay. So today the market was, which is you know March of uh, March first, twenty twenty three. The market went up. Yeah. And was so that's why all the call options have gone exactly. Up. So all the call options went up, and all the put options that you are seeing at the money mm. all went down. And that's exactly what you see here. And uh, yeah, those are the things. And then if you come back to option Greeks. The other tab. Yeah, on the other tab. Yeah. Because we cannot fit everything right. in one uh, place. So we have also put option Greeks in another tab with, you know, LTP and strike price and blood volatility as a common columns between both of them. So now here we are showing. So there are four main uh, option Greeks that are important, mm. which is uh, Delta. It shows the direction of that option, the directionality of the option. And then there is theta, which is nothing but the time value. Yeah. And then Vega is the, the impact of the volatility on the on the option price change. Okay. Mm -hmm. And finally is the gamma. 
gamma it tells you how fast the delta of an option changes okay so and delta determines how fast the option price changes okay now again here you can see you now remember one thing that all the long option long put options have mm -hmm. negative delta right right and all or long call options have positive delta positive. okay and if you take the inverse so let's say if you short uh, call option then that becomes delta becomes negative and if you short put option the positive. delta becomes positive so positive delta means you are long on that particular right. position or uh, on that particular stock or index so in a way this also means let, let's say this delta is 49.7 so let's say it is 50, 50. it means if nifty moves up by 100 points this call option will move up 50, 50 points yeah. exactly so it's it's telling you the directionality right yeah because it's showing the positivity Positive. here so if it nifty changes by 100 this particular 17 550 option changes by 50 points in terms of price yeah okay now the exactly opposite on this in the case of the option so if the nifty goes up by 100 points then this particular option will lose by 50 points the price right. goes down by 50 points that's what delta tells you mm. now as you see as you go out of the money the delta values keep on decreasing right because out of the money values are uh, it says by how much the uh, the, uh, the value, value of, of yeah the value of the option price change according to the underlying price. So out of the money options have uh, less delta mm. as you go out, which means the price of those out of the money options change very less compared to at the money and in the money options. Yeah, uh, with respect to the price change of the underlying. So in a way, yesterday since Nifty was I think near seventeen thousand three hundred, yeah. this uh, forty nine delta would have been maybe twenty five. Uh, I'm just guessing. So in the case of call, the yeah, delta call would have increased. Yeah, it have it would have increased from yesterday. So yes. yesterday's closing delta would have been much lesser than what it is. Today. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly, exactly. And so, some good delta would have been more than what it is right now. Yeah, what it is right now. Uh, so this is delta. So delta shows you the directionality of the option and by how much it changes the option price. Now comes to theta. Theta is nothing but how much amount of the premium that you lose every day if nothing happens in the market. So okay. let's say if the market is around now at 17,550 approximately the future price. So what the theta is saying that if you buy a put option, okay, if you buy a put option and by tomorrow nothing happens and it stays exactly at the same uh, same level, then you lose around minus 387. Okay, this is I believe not converted in rupees, but if you convert in rupees, you will see some other value. But basically, that's what the theta is saying. How much value? of the option premium that you lose if nothing happens in the market. So that is what theta tells. So all the long options, okay, either it can be long call option, it could be long put option. Both of them will have negative theta value, which means if you buy these options, nothing happens in market, then their value will go down tomorrow by that much. And more the number of days to expire, this theta value will be more. As per that. Yes, as per that. Yeah. So, if you are very farther away from right. expiry, the theta value will be less. And as you go close to expiry, this theta value will keep on increasing. Because you keep on losing more and more as you get close to expiry. Right. So, that is th theta. Now, coming back to Vega. Now, Vega, as I said, it represents the volatility factor uh, on the option pricing. Okay, so what Vega tells you is that by how much the price of the option will increase or decrease if the implied volatility changes by 1%. Okay. 
so let's say let's take this uh, 17 550 put option okay so again this uh, vega value is not in rupees it's in uh, decimals mm -hmm. but if you convert in rupee you'll get uh, another uh, value maybe 800 or something so if the implied volatility of this particular put option increases by 1% mm -hmm. then the value of that option price increases by that much particular vega okay so vega determine the vega determines by how much the option price increases as per 1% change in IV. Okay. okay. Now, if the Vega is negative, this happens in the short call or short put option. Right. Which means if the volatility decreases, I'm sorry, if the volatility increases, then you lose that much value because the Vega will be negative in this case. Yes. Now, finally, come to coming to Vega, uh, the Gamma. So, Gamma, as I said, it tells you how fast the delta delta is moving. Delta is moving. Okay. Now the gamma. As, so let, let's say here uh, the delta is fifty point one nine, right? And here we are saying gamma is point zero seven. Mm. So if uh, if the Nifty moves by hundred points, mm. then gamma is moving by point zero seven percent, right? Okay. Around seven uh, seven. So, in a way, does it also give an indication of how fast the underlying is moving? Yes. Uh, so, how fast the delta changes and how fast the option price also changes. Yes. If the gamma is very high, then your option uh, option price will change very fast. Okay. Because your delta is also changing very fast. Right. And your gamma is very high when, when you are close to expiry. Yeah. Okay. And if you are farther away from expiry, the gamma will be much, much, much yes. less. So, this is what happens when uh, on an expiry day you get a big move. Yes. Let's say in the last couple of hours. Yes. That is when this gamma is very high. high. Yes. So, that is what, what people call as gamma squeeze. Yeah. Because there is some kind of uh, huge gamma is there which people are exploiting to squeeze mm. uh, the traders who are trading on that. So, is the same information is available for all stocks, bank, nifty, everything. So yes. Yeah. So maybe just take an example of Reliance, let's say. Yes. So if you go to Reliance, you get the same, uh, same information thing, so. here. So that as is you can see, add the money. Yeah. All the information is there, and you can also change the expiry and see. Yeah, but for what stocks, the uh, next expiry will be very yes. liquid, I guess. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you will get for different stocks. And different indices and different expiries. So, for whatever uh, <coughs> on NSE, wherever options are traded, this uh, information is available on this page for yes. all those stocks. Yes, because it's a very uh, important information as to what is happening in the market. So, you can, for example, you can see if there is short covering is happening in the market yeah. or if there is a, a long build up is happening in the market in terms of options. Right. Like, are people buying call options or people selling? Call options or people covering their uh, call options, you know, things like that. Yeah. So, all this information is there in the option chain, which you can, you know, just by one look, you know what is happening yeah. in the market. Yeah, so uh, I would like to add one more thing here. These are all uh, static data as far as that particular time is concerned, but they keep changing every one minute. So, it's up to the trader to understand how it has moved. Or in other words, uh, there are other charts which are there in Opstra in terms of open interest yeah. and other things, which also you can see how open interest is moving, the put call over yes. dynamics and TOI. And there are other features where the the same information is available in a chart form. So either look at this static table, which refreshes every one minute, or look at the chart form. There you get a trend of those uh, uh, open sure. interest or whatever. So that is how you can use it. So this was the basic information on option chain which uh, every trader who trades in option must know at least what uh, all is there in those columns and how to what does it interpret and how to use it and uh, we hope this was useful for you because a lot of people had asked us about this basic information on option chain so thank you raghunath and thank you everyone uh, we hope you enjoyed it thank you